Well, praise the Lord. Come on in. We're going to have some word tonight. It's going to be good. Once you come in, start speaking to one another, sharing the love and grace, peace of God with one another when you come on. And I'm going to give you just a minute to get some of my saints in the house of God. Then we're going to go from there. Like I say, once you come on, start speaking to one another, sharing the love of Christ. You got to do it. You got to love on the saints. Listen, I got just a little bit of a different flow tonight, but it's going to be good, 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 good. Man, I got the answer to everything tonight, to everything. It's going to be phenomenal. So praise y'all been having a good evening. Once you come on, like I said, start speaking to one another. And listen, tonight is going to be life changing. Absolutely life changing. I promise you. I got the answers tonight. Glory, glory, glory. Pray that you've been doing well. Listen, I want you to do me a favor. Tonight, I have such a word, a rhema for your life, not just your life, but the world. And so I want you to just start sharing this right now, because I'm going to talk about what is happening all around this globe. And it is simply that we have been living life in the wrong system. And tonight we are going to switch and change systems and get in the kingdom and see all these things, not only fixed and changed, but we're going to have a template to share with the world forever. I'm telling tonight, heaven speaks. And I'm going to surgically give this word to you word is so plain so clear that you'll understand everything going on in the earth realm right now from pandemics to racism to division to justice equality to all the strife the division what's happening in the political arena tonight i'm going to give you the answer to everything so start sharing this right now and giving me some love. I'm not doing nothing without some love because y'all don't be giving the man of God enough love. (laughs) So give me love tonight (laughs) if you want this word to, to come across. I'm like Jesus. I'm not coming into my own hometown in my own country and kindred and not get no love. (laughs) <laughs> now, let me turn Jason Upton off uh, because I tell you, boy, that's my flow. That's my flow. That's that's my man. And uh, matter of fact, some of you have been asking, where did uh, um, I, I was asked about Sunday? I had some music playing and it was a brand new CD by Cordell Scott. Now, some of you don't know Cordell, but. But Cordell spent maybe a year and a half to two years in our church, um, actually on a job um, situation where he was contracted in by Red River. He just recorded his first CD, his since moved back to Alabama um, with his wife and, 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 and child and just an amazing young man of God. And he has released a brand new project called Wholehearted. It is phenomenal. I love it. Doors are already opening up for him. And and someone asked me, what was I playing? So go download Cordell Scott. We called him or I called him Cordell. (laughs) Cordell. 
And so go download his CD, Cordell Scott. Put it on the screen for people, Shar. Wholehearted is that CD, and it is great. Now, listen. <sighs> Tonight, you and I are going to change the world. And what we've been talking about and dealing with in this earth realm, one of my frustrations has been to hear kingdom people speak with clarity and to hear kingdom people that can rise up and address the situation with the word of God, with kingdom clarity and kingdom balance so that we can see serious things shift in this earth realm. And one of the things that I am going to share with you tonight is that the answer to everything is the kingdom of God. The problem has been, and this is not a criticism, listen to what I'm going to say because this is going to enlighten you and it's going to enlighten the earth. But one of the biggest issues is we have been trying to demand kingdom results out of a worldly system. And it is not going to happen. You're not going to get the world to act like the kingdom. You're not going to get kingdom results from a worldly system because it is set up by Satan. And what we have to do is we have to understand what the kingdom is, how to function in it, because every answer everybody is looking for is in the kingdom of God. They might not know it. They might not can acknowledge it yet. But everything we are searching for is in the kingdom. The answer to the pandemic is in the kingdom. The answer to strife, division, racism, justice, equality is in the kingdom. The answer to crime, to lawlessness, it's in the kingdom. The answer for drugs, for, for, for violence, for murder, for the prison um, complexes, it's in the kingdom. The answer for everything is the kingdom of God. And that's what people are searching for. Whether they know it or not, they are looking for the kingdom. The people in the streets right now, Black Lives Matter, all of these people, all of these things, what they're looking for is the kingdom. They just don't know what they're looking for, <laughs> but they're looking for the kingdom. What is happening on this planet, what is happening during this pandemic, what people are searching for, the scientists, the doctors, the politicians, how to how to do what we're doing in the states and how to open, how to be healed, how to be covered, how to be protected. The answer is in the kingdom. And so if we're going to see any of these things manifest, we're going to have to get into the kingdom. Therefore, I entitled this today, Living Life in the Wrong System because that is the result of everything you see happening in the earth and maybe even in your life. So don't you go anywhere for the next 40 minutes because I am going to explain to you the concepts of the kingdom so clear that everything in your life from this day forward will begin to manifest without hindrance, it will be able to manifest where demonic opposition can't stop it. It will begin to manifest as we begin to disciple the nations in the kingdom of heaven. It is the message Jesus preached. It is the message Jesus told us to preach. And it is the end time message. And so now I want I want to talk to you. Let me give you the concept about living life in the wrong system. First and foremost, you have to understand just because you are Christian, hear what I'm about to say, just because you are a Christian doesn't necessarily equate to you living in the kingdom. You can be born again and still not live in the kingdom. In other words, just like in America, you can be born an American, 
but it doesn't mean you're going to function like a citizen. You can break the laws. You can violate the laws. You can disregard the laws. And so you won't get the benefits of being an American if you don't function under the laws of citizenship. Well, you can do that as a Christian. You can be born again, give the Lord your heart. But if you don't function according to the citizenship of heaven, you're not going to see any of the benefits that come with the kingdom that you've been born into because you will keep violating laws that keep you getting disbanded. In other words, you're going to keep getting locked up <laughs> because you have not shifted into a real kingdom life. And so today, I'm not going to judge you um, about whether you're in it or not. I just want to explain it to you because one thing I do know, all of us could stand to be a little more committed to the kingdom of heaven. So now what is the kingdom of God? I want you to write these things down here on this screen. You do not get to sit Today, you are in church. <laughs> we are in church. Even though I'm at my house, we are at church <laughs> because we are gathered together in his name. And I'm trying to tell you the power of God is present right now. And I want you to type these things on the screen so that the people who are going to be watching it in just a few minutes, we'll have all the notes down there as they're going back through this. So now write these four things down. When I say the kingdom of God, write down the rule, write down here in the comment section, the realm, the reign, and the royalty of God. The rule, the realm, the reign, R-E-I-G-N, and the royalty of God. The kingdom, the rule, the realm, the reign, the royalty of God. Now, I want you to write two more things down here because I'm going to encapsulate them all together um, as one definition. Write down after you type that. Everybody do it. <laughs> see if y'all was sitting in church, I could see who was doing it and who was not doing it. Everybody do it. <laughs> okay. Type it down there. And then now those of you that have already typed that down, write this down. God's way of doing. God's way of doing and being right. God's way of doing and being right. And so we're going to make the kingdom so simple. And then I'm going to give you something so eye opening that you're going to be like, my God, I'm glad I came to church tonight. So it is the rule, the realm, the reign and the royalty of God. It is God's way of doing and being right. So write this last definition down. The kingdom of God is the system of heaven functioning in the earth. The kingdom of God is the system of heaven functioning in the earth. It is God's whole system. Some of us call it the government of God, but it, but I don't want you to think government like a political structure. I want you to think government as a king, as a territory, because when we think government, we think politics uh, because we live in a republic. Some people live in a democracy, but we don't live in a theocracy. So when I say government, I'm thinking theocracy, a kingdom. One man rules everything. No voting, <laughs> no voting in other politicians, no, no Congress, no, 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 no. So when, when, I, when I say government, I'm talking about one rule, one king, and everything follows the order of the king. So it's his system. It's his whole order. It's his system governing the earth. Now, why did I entitle this living life in the wrong system? Because most people are not living in 
heaven's system. They're not living in heaven's order. So now let me explain this rule, realm, reign, and royalty, and then we'll go into a couple of scriptures that will get you to see how you could possibly be living life in the wrong system and asking for things in a system that can't even give it to you. And so now the rule of God is real simple. The rule of God is his law. God is a kingdom. So every he's a king. So everything he says is law. It's decree. It's not up for voting. It's not up for debating. It's not up to, for agreement. It is so point blank, period. And so the kingdom of God is how God rules his domain. And he rules his domain by his words. A king sits on the throne <laughs> and just makes decree. You know, I'm in a different chair and I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the throne, you know, while I'm preaching kingdom, I, I'm on the throne. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me, let me roll up my sleeves and get a little comfortable in my kingdom. <laughs> you know, I'm on, I'm on the throne tonight. <laughs> Normally I'm in another chair, but, 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 and so now, and so that's the rule of God. Are you typing? Are you listening? Are you shouting amen? <laughs> you got to stay with me today, everybody. Number two, so that's the rule. That's the kingdom. The king's rule is his word, which is law. Number two, the realm. The realm is the territory over which that law governs. So the realm has to do with the expanse of territory that a king rules. Got it? And so that is the kingdom, the territory, the, the realm is the territory over which that king rules, over which that sovereign has domain, dominion. That's why we have king's domain for kingdom. Number three when, when we talk about the reign, the, the rule, the reign, the reign is the, let me, let me tie the, the, let me get to royalty first before I go to reign. Cause that's, that's the, that's the, that's the last one. Let's get to royalty, the royalty of the kingdom. And all of this is a kingdom. The royalty part of it, it's God's order. It's his customs. It's his manners. It's his ways. It's his protocol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the way things are done. Yeah. This would be a good time to parenthetically insert this and type it down there. I'm royalty, which means there, there's a protocol to the way I do things. There's a way I behave. There, 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 there's a way of order and conduct and manner and mannerism. There's a way things are done. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Keep typing. <laughs> and then the rain. The rain deals with the the expanse. It deals with the 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 limitness of a, a king's reign. Is how long. It's 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 the honor. It's the dignity. It's the authority given to the king. And so all of that is the kingdom of God. So now what is that? Heaven wanted to move its rules, its realm, its reign and its royalty to her. That was the plan of God in Adam. That was the plan that God had in Eve. That was the plan that Jesus came to reestablish, to bring the kingdom, the realm, the rule, the royalty, and the reign of God out of heaven and down to the earth. Can somebody shout amen? My God, my God. Now, what heaven wanted then was 
heavenly citizenship in an earthly realm. That even though we would be on earth, we would be living according to the rule, the realm, the reign, and the royalty of heaven. And so even though we were on a physical earth, we would be functioning by a spiritual kingdom that would cause a physical earth to look like a spiritual heaven. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Do you need me to say it again? <laughs> Which means God wanted to make heaven viewable. He wanted to make heaven physical. He wanted to make heaven material. And he wanted to move the system out of heaven down into the earth and then raise up kings. Y'all didn't hear what I said? <laughs> you didn't hear me. Not raise up church folk. Oh God, not raise up religious people, but raise up kings because all God's kids are kings. My, when you understand that identity, you won't fight this other stuff because of this, this other identity has no royalty to it. This, oh my God. <laughs> oh, this other flesh and this these colors, these all of it, there ain't no royalty to that. Ain't no royalty to that identity. My identity what the royalty is, is my identity as a citizen of the kingdom of heaven and as a child of God. And so now that was the plan. Jesus comes on the scene and listens what he said in Matthew chapter number six, verse number 33, very familiar passage of scripture you all know this and probably can quote it. Are y'all still typing comments? See, I'm in a new system. <laughs> Speaking of a new system, I'm in a new system here where I'm coming to you, you know, in a different way because we're upgrading some of our online broadcasting where I can do things and like put things up on the screen, you know, um, like, you know, we've, get, we've got a banner when I get ready for you to give and all that. We can put all that stuff up there and all that kind of stuff now. But listen, just because I can't see you don't mean you better not be shouting amen. <laughs> I need you to be shouting with me, kingdom people. We're going to change the world. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, he says, seek ye first the kingdom and all these things will be added to you. Whoa. He says, everything you need, it's in the kingdom. Everything. You need healing, it's in the kingdom. You need resources, blessing, provision, it's in the kingdom. You need protection, it's in the kingdom. You want justice, it's in the kingdom. You want equality? It's in the kingdom. You want authority? It's in the kingdom. You want peace? It's in the kingdom. You want joy? It's in the kingdom. You want a good marriage? It's in the kingdom. You want blessed kids? It's in the kingdom. In other words, everything you need, it's in the kingdom. You say, well, I'm in the kingdom. So, so, so if everything I need is in the kingdom, then where's all this stuff I need? Are, are you really, are you really in the kingdom? Because you, 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 you got to understand what I say when I say it's in the kingdom, which means it's under God's law. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 which means in order for you to get it, you got to do things the kingdom way. See, God kingdom proofed life. Where you can't get the things that the kingdom have unless you function the way the kingdom said function. He kingdom proofed it. <laughs> where, where, where you can't get what you need unless you do it the way God said do it. He kingdom proofed it. 
to where if you really want the things that he has for you, then you've got to submit to his way of doing and being right. As they say in the Baptist church, have I witnessed? <laughs> have I witnessed here? Yeah, you got to do it God's way. So now anything not done God's way, anything that you're doing that you're not being right God's way, then you can't get the benefits of citizenship from the kingdom. So the reason I talked about living life in the wrong system is because you can give your, your heart to Christ and not give him your life. I'm going to let that marinate. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to let that marinate on you a little bit. I'm going to let it marinate on you. I'm just going to let that sit right there for a little bit. Just let it simmer on about the two, 275 degrees. Just, just let it sit there. Why? Because... If you don't understand this, that in order for you to see the kingdom of God manifest, there are three things that have to happen and you need to write these down. Write them down. Number one, heart. Number two, mind. Number three, life. If you want to see the kingdom of heaven manifest, first of all, you got to bring your heart in. Then you got to bring your mind in. Then you got to bring your life in. Now, let me explain that to you. See, John chapter number three. Jesus told Nicodemus, remember Nicodemus came to Jesus and said, most assuredly, I say unto you, uh, we know your teacher come from God. No one can do what you do except God with him. Jesus looked at him and said, Nicodemus, let me, let me just cut through the chase. Unless you are born again, you can't see the kingdom. Ooh, wait, my God in heaven. Unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom. And, and, and then he goes on down and you know he doesn't understand that because it's spiritual. He's like, how can one be born again? Can I enter again to my mother's womb a second time? Jesus said unto him again, unless you're born of the water and the spirit, you can't enter the kingdom. See, here's, here's the issue. The first thing you have to be, be in order to function in the kingdom is born again. You have to be born kingdom. You have to be born from above. Why? Because you're never going to submit to the rule, to the realm, to the royalty of God if your spirit is corrupted. Because you don't have a kingdom nature. You got a worldly nature. So he says, you're already born opposed to my ways, to my rule. You're born in sin, shaping in any. You're born in a worldly system. You're born carnal. You're, you're born under the influence of the God of this world. He says, so the first thing before I can get a real kingdom life established to you is you must be born again. Because if you don't get born again, you won't even see the kingdom. You won't even be able to comprehend it. You won't even be able to understand it. You won't be able to discern it. You won't even be able to get revelation of it. You won't even begin to understand my ways that are higher than your ways and my thoughts that are higher than my thoughts. My things will seem foolish to you unless you get born again. And so you must be born again to even see it, to enter it. You, you got to be born again. You want to know why? Because, because the born again experience is the download of kingdom software. 
Boy, when I said that earl, I felt like shouting. <laughs> see, see, oh, that's what you gotta do. You, you, you got to be born again. See, cause if you don't get born again, you, you don't even have kingdom software. You don't even have a kingdom download. See, unless you get born again, your, your heart, your, your, your nature ain't even kingdom ready. You, you, can't, you, you can't do it. You, you can't do it. And, and what we're asking in this day and age is we're asking for a worldly kingdom to produce things that it takes kingdom software to produce. And it ain't happening. Let me just tell you, it's just going to be a waste of time. Because that's why over, even over this racial thing, people have been fussing and marching and protesting and calling out stuff for the last 60 years. They've been doing the same thing, burning stuff and getting mad and frustrated, hitting the streets and screaming. And they're looking at politicians and passing bills and we want this and we want that. We'll be doing it for the next 60 years. I'm here to tell you, I'm just honest enough to tell you, that's the issue because you're, you're looking for a kingdom manifestation in a worldly system. It ain't happening. In order for that to happen, we gotta have a change of software. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying? No, not legislation, no. Uh, manifestation, no, regeneration. <laughs> There's got to be some kingdom software downloaded because only in the kingdom, when you get a kingdom heart, do you understand love? Do you understand peace? Do you understand righteousness and justice and equality? Only when you get kingdom software do you look at yourself and you see there is no Jew, no Gentile, no bond, no free, no male, no female. Oh, until you get kingdom software, until you get, you, you're going to be jealous. You're going to be envious. You're going to think you're better than. You're going to think you're greater than. Until you get kingdom software, you're going to judge one another based on skin and dirt. <laughs> Is all this is, it's dirt, just lighter shades of dirt. You're going to do that. But when you get kingdom software, when, 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 when you get the heart, that's why the Bible says, Jesus says, my kingdom is in you. He's talking about, I've moved my whole system in you. I put it in you when I drop that spirit and the spirit that you have is the spirit of royalty. It's the spirit. It's the spirit of kings. It, it's the it's the nature of God. It's a spirit of love and joy. It's the spirit to do right. It's the spirit to be right. It's the nature. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? I'm sorry. I said, don't you? I can't preach like that. Don't you? Don't you want to do right when you get born again? When you got born again, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He's a kingdom creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Why? You got kingdom download now. Now you got a heart to want to love. You got a heart to want to be right. You got a heart to want to be faithful. You got a heart to want to be joyful. You got a heart to want to be peaceful. Now you don't want to lie. You don't want to steal. Now, now, now you got kingdom DNA in you. So you can't even see it until you get born again. And what happened to you and I is when you got born again, even according to Hebrews chapter number nine, God no longer needs to tell you right from wrong. He put it in your heart. He wrote it in your spirit. He wrote that kingdom download in you. And now you know it just by the way you sense. And I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have did that. I ain't got no business doing that no more. I can't go there. I can't what? Are y'all listening to me? I wish I could see if y'all still typing. <laughs> so I need to know whether to rebuke y'all or not. <laughs> you, you have to understand. You have to understand. You got to have the kingdom. You got to have the kingdom. You got to be born again in order to see it, to see it, to see it. And so that's life. That's life. That, that my heart. I got to bring my heart into the kingdom. My heart. My heart has to be changed. I got to have kingdom software. Now for me to even be able to discern it and know it. Oh, I'm almost done. Number two, now that my heart is in, I got to bring my mind in. And that's Romans 12, 2. Come on, you know what it says. Type it down there. Romans 12, 2. You already know what it says. It says, be ye not conformed to this world. 
but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove, discern, see, perceive what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. He might as well have said, now that your heart has come out of the world and into the kingdom, now you got to bring your mind out of the world and into the kingdom. Why? Because the way you are used to doing things have got to change. See, when I changed your heart, I dealt with the way you used to be. But now when I'm coming after your mind, I got to deal with the way you used to do. I got to deal with your customs. I, I got to deal. I got to deal with your mannerisms, your manner. I got to deal with your order. I got to deal with your principles. I got to deal with. I got to deal with the way you think now because you you came out of a system. Oh, this is good, man. This is good. Let, uh, uh, let let's read a couple of scriptures. Let's read a couple of scriptures. Matthew chapter number eleven. Uh, which is an amazing passage of scripture. It says, this is when John the Baptist came. It says, uh, um, Matthew 11 and 12, it says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Now, what? It, it, once again, that's kind of old English King James. It, it don't really understand explain it right when you read it that way. It says, Jesus said, when the kingdom came into the earth, it first came through John. John came preaching, repent. The kingdom is coming. It's coming. So now the moment he began to preach that, he said, the kingdom hit the earth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't see it. They couldn't perceive it because it's not physical. It's, it's not a physical place. You won't be able to say here, there, or low there. But when he start talking about a kingdom, everybody, what, what, what are you talking about? Where is it at? Where, where, you, you finna establish a territory? No, no, no. This was deeper. <laughs> deeper. This was deeper than that. <laughs> so he said the kingdom hit the earth. And then it started advancing. That's what it means when it suffered violence. It means it, it began to move against resistance. Because why? He's coming in a new system into an old one. The kingdom of heaven coming into the kingdom of darkness. The systems of this world now being invaded by the system of God. And the rule, the realm, the royalty, the authority of God begins to come into earth. And it's, it's having to press against the established order that's in the earth at the present time. That's why John showed up saying, repent. That's why Jesus comes on the scene saying, repent. Why? Because this system that I'm bringing is going to change it. I have to rethink a whole lot of stuff. You're going to have to go through a total mind renewal, a repentance, a changing of the way you used to think, the way you used to do things and function. Comes in and he says, it begin." to advance and the violent took it by force, which means they had to press into it. You wanna know why? Because whenever you have a new system that's coming in that opposes an old system, the principalities and powers and the rulers and the people in the natural who are used to that old system are going to confront you. They're not going to turn it loose. Satan is not going to turn it loose. He's not going to turn you loose. You're going to have to come in and take it by force, which means it takes people with a certain type of software <laughs> to be able to say, I don't care if we've been doing it like that for the last 50 years. Now that the kingdom of heaven has been revealed to me, forget the way we used to do it. And I'm going after the kingdom. It takes people who have kingdom software to be able to buck against the systems and come out of being conformed to this world, to being ye transformed. That's the only way it can happen. The only way to come out of conformed is transform. And the only way you can do that, the Bible says, is by your mind being changed. You got to rethink some things. And that's why when, when you came into the kingdom, there were things you had to just drop. Most of you have been functions one way financially. You've been spending all your money, buying up all this kind of stuff. You came into the kingdom. You gave God your heart. And now God says, now I'm coming after your mind. Bring you all the time. 
<laughs> bring, bring it on in the storehouse and see if I won't open up a window and pour you out a blessing. Come on, bring your money in here. I, I need 10% of it. And then I want you to give an offering. And then I want you to start being a blessing to people in your mind. Went, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is not how to get money and keep money. Oh, yes, it is. It's a kingdom way. See, you got to come out of conform to transform. And what I have discovered, bless the heart of most of the church. Most of us in areas of our life have not changed systems. We have not changed systems. All of this stuff going on in the earth right now is because people have not changed systems. People do not trust God's way. They do not trust it. Why? Because when you've been in another system for so long, you think like that. And then you come over here to a brand new system. Sometimes it will look like you're losing when it comes to God. Because his ways are not the ways of the system you came out of. And, and sometimes it'll look like you're losing, but you're not losing. It's just that you're so used to another system that you thought you were winning in. You don't even realize that this system over here is better than that one. And that's why it takes a pressing for the kingdom. It takes a pressing for the kingdom. It takes a pressing. Man, when you come out around people you used to be around and y'all had all that stinking thinking and like even today, all everybody want to be mad, now spoken, everybody want to be fussing and fighting. And it takes a kingdom person to say, no, 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 we're not, I'm not fussing, not fighting, ain't yelling, ain't doing none of that. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to walk in love. I'm going to speak the word of God. I'm going to do I'm going to do my work on my knees. I'm going to affect things in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to wait for the favor of the Lord to come to open up a door of effectual service because he will. And it's a kingdom way to handle things. It's a kingdom. It's a kingdom way to handle things. And it looks like when you do it the kingdom way, you're kind of left out. But there's always people violent enough to press into it because they realize that the only reason it looks like it's less than it's because they've been in a system in which we were deceived and confused. Just like when you take the tithe, it looks like you're losing money. That's because you've been in a system that was wrong. You're not losing anything. You expect me to come over here and give 10, 15 percent of my money? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> that's what King said. But the only reason you fighting that is because you've been in another system. You've been in another system too long. Oh, Lord, man, I'm losing my job. You know, this pandemic has got me, man, I don't know how we're going to make it. What do you mean how you're going to make it? His name ain't Job Jireh. His name is Jehovah Jireh. If you get over here and get in the kingdom system and start finding something to give, start finding some way to be a blessing to somebody, then increase will hit your life even in the middle of a pandemic. Lord, y'all don't want to hear kingdom prayer preaching. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. You want to panic. You want to whine. You want to fuss. You want to complain. You want to blame. No, 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 no. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Never, 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 never. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in the kingdom of heaven. You got to switch systems. You got to do that in your home. You got to do that with your marriage. You got to do that with your mind. You got to do that with yourself. You got to do it everywhere. You got to do it everywhere. You got to do it everywhere. You got to change the way you think. You got to change the way you Thing. Let me give you a couple of more scriptures before I close because this is just too good. This is just too good. Look, I got another verse over here in Matthew chapter number 13. Man, this verse, listen to what Matthew 13 verse number 45 says. It says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking a beautiful pearl and who win. I'm sorry. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls who when he had found one pearl of great price, he went and sold all that he had and bought the pearl. Ooh, oh my God. That's what it's like when you find the kingdom. That's what it's like when you find truth. That's what it's like when you find revelation. That's what it's like when you find God's system. It's because you, 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 you've been looking for it all this time. And once you find truth, once you find revelation, once you find manifestation, once you find the kingdom, once you find the law of God, the word of God, the rule of God, 
The Bible says you get so excited over the pearl you found, you go and sell everything you got to buy it. Why? Because if I get the kingdom, I got everything I need. So I will throw everything away. I will put everything aside. I will let go of everything I need to let go of to seize the kingdom. Why? Because if I get the kingdom, I get everything I need. I get the kingdom and everything I had to buy, everything I had to sell, everything I had to give up, all the friends that left. I ain't worried about people leaving. What are you going to say? People might get upset and leave the church. Let them leave. <laughs> because if the kingdom ran them off, God's got some kingdom people coming. <laughs> He's got everything you think you're losing for the kingdom. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hold on to the kingdom. Why? You get the kingdom, you, you're going to get everything you need. And it takes people who are wise enough to let go of everything in the world that they will conform to because they understand once I get the kingdom, those things that were gained to me, I count them as dung. Why? For the excellency of the knowledge of God. If I got the kingdom, I got everything I need. You got, oh, you got to keep pressing. Now, listen, just a little bit more and I'll be gone. Man, they, 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 I got a scripture down here that I wanted to look into that is phenomenal. And so now, uh, okay, I just saw my time. I'm running out of time. So let me, let me fast forward. Man, I've been preaching 45 minutes. So now, <laughs> so now, listen to this. So now you got to come into the kingdom with your heart. Then you got to bring your mind in. And then number three, now you bring your whole life in. Everything in my life is submitted to the kingdom. Everything, everything. So now, here's the system to change the world. This is it. If you are a child of God, during this pandemic, during all of these tensions, dealing with the end of this age, dealing with your ministry, dealing with shutdowns in the churches, not being able to open up. Maybe you haven't been able to travel like you used to. Your schedule has been diminished. You're not able to reach people. You're not able to do all of those things. Can I tell you? that you will lack nothing, you will miss nothing because the kingdom ain't shut down. There's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. All you need to do is find out what did the kingdom say? What is the rule of God? What is the word of God? What is the law of God? So these three things are going to shift the world. Got it? Get ready to type. Number one, you got to come out of the world. So when the first, these first three points, I was talking about you coming into the kingdom. Now I'm fixing to address you in the world. Number one, you had to bring your heart in the kingdom. You had to bring your mind into the kingdom. Then you had to bring your life into the kingdom. So now to affect all the change we need on the earth. First of all, we got to get the whole church to come out of the world. It, you just got to come out. You got to come all the way out. You got to come all the way out. You got to come out in your character. You got to come out in your behavior, in your conduct. You got to come out in your love walk. You got to come out in peace and joy. You got to come out of strife. You got to come out of division. You got to come out of bitterness and anger. You got to come out. You got to come out of the world when it deals with your health. You got to come out. You got to come out. You got to have to come out of the world all tired and wore out, not honoring the body, not presenting your body a living sacrifice, not resting it, not having a Sabbath, not doing all of these things, not feeding it right, eating till oh, I can't let go of that chicken and boy, that fried chicken. <laughs> I ain't coming out for your fried chicken. I'm just saying whatever you need to do <laughs> to get your health in order so that when these things hit, You've already got a foundation of a kingdom healthy lifestyle so that your body can resist these things. And that's not to make light of anybody who caught this or are dealing with it right now. It's to say most of these things are taking advantage of people who already had 
health issues. And then other people, most in general, catch it when they get wore out, wore down, tired. This is how sickness and disease takes advantage. We got to come out in the kingdom. We got to come out. We got to come. I wish above all that you prosper. Boy, if I go back and look at this and see where y'all went quiet, <laughs> I'm going to do a six week series on divine health. <laughs> no, we ain't having no healing service. We finna have a health service. We need to call the church to accountability about the way we take care of the temple of God. That's kingdom. That's kingdom. You got to present your body a living sacrifice. It's got to be holy. Come on now. You got to lose the weight. You got to take care of yourself. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to tell you. You got to bring your body into the kingdom. Come on in. Come on and change all them habits. If you smoking, if you drinking, just come on, stop all that. Stop all that. Can I, can, can I, can I smoke and be saved? Can I? It's not about whether you can do it or not. It's about honoring your body, being healthy. They say a little wine is good for the belly. Well, take it for the belly. <laughs> but don't be getting drunk. <laughs> you know better than that. And so, because it's a health thing, it has nothing to do with all of those laws and legally, it has to do with health. You want to be healthy. You want to be healthy. You want to honor your body. You want to keep toxic stuff out of it. You want to let go of anger and bitterness and strife and frustration and hurt. All this mental stuff we're dealing with. I'm preaching the kingdom. I'm trying to get you out. All this mental stuff we're dealing with and, and all of these issues, y'all, they're because People are not guarding their minds. They're not guarding. The Bible said, guard your heart. It's talking about your emotions with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. You can't be sitting up mad and worried and tired and scared and, and, and all fretful and full of anxiety. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and stuff. We got to come out. Come out. Come on out. Come, come out. In any way you find out you're not functioning spirit, soul, body, faith, family, finances, according to the kingdom of God, come all the way out that system. Oh, you don't want to hear it, but I'm going to preach it anyway. <laughs> come out, come out of the world in every way you're still in it. Now, for some of you, it's going to take a minute. It's going to, you got to be transformed by the renewing, renewing of your mind. You got to fight some stuff to turn loose. You're going to, have, it's going to be a journey for some, but start today, pack up today, come out of that system, period. In any way from your behavior, like I said, okay, I'm done with that. Once you come out, uh oh, here's the caveat. Number two, go back in. <laughs> and start discipling people to come on out because that is the command. And what we're dealing with in the church today is a lack of discipling people according to kingdom order. There is a kingdom way to do it, but you can't go back in if you ain't came out. You know, they're crying for it right now today. The whole earth is groaning for the wisdom of God to bring answers, to bring solutions. It's longing for kingdom people to show up and say, listen, that's not the way to do that. I don't care if it's, it's a marriage. I don't care if it's on a job. I don't, th there's a kingdom way. There's a kingdom order. And I'm here to disciple you. I'm here to show you that's not the way to handle that. That's not the way to behave. That's not the way to act. That's not the way to, to be on your job. That's not the way. We got to start discipling. The problem, like I said, one of the biggest problems I've had with the whole racial thing is that the church, instead of setting the standard on how to deal with this on a global level, we're following groups that don't even believe in God. We're letting them take the lead and we coming behind them. We're following entertainers and, and, and basketball players. And these people, these people don't know how to get no real kingdom solutions done. Come on, church. It's got to come from the church. It's got to come from us. No, y'all get behind us because all y'all gonna do is got to mess stuff up. Why? Because you can't get the wisdom of God out of the kingdom of this world. 
my Lord in heaven. <laughs> they look, they need the sight, they need kingdom voices, and they might not want to hear it, but that's not up to you. Your job is to go tell them, repent for the kingdom is at hand. There's another rule. There's another law. There's another way. You got to change the way you think. You got to do it. You got to change the way you think. No, they talked about me. I'm fixing to talk about them. And whenever somebody call you and they get in your face with all that stuff because somebody hurt their feelings on the job or somebody hurt their feelings in the family and you're in that conversation and they start talking about, I'm going to call them and tell them. And no, you're going to say, no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. What do you mean? Yes, I am that. And they don't think I'm weak. No, 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 you're not. God has given you the ministry of reconciliation. If you pick up that phone, you're going to try to reconcile this situation. Well, well, <laughs> well, then you, you don't want the kingdom. You don't want the kingdom. All you're going to do is start some mess. Oh, I'm telling the truth. I'm fixing to get ready to go. I can tell y'all leaving me. Y'all done got tired. <laughs> y'all done got tired. I'm fixing to go. Where my where my little giving thing over here? Let me let me get my giving banner up to give y'all a chance to give. Y'all didn't y'all didn't shut me down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> let me get ready to get the offering before you log off. <laughs> I'm just joking. Somebody inevitably will be all oh, here after the money. So listen to me. Come out of the world, then go back into the world. And then the third thing is we must defend the kingdom. So we must enter the kingdom, expand the kingdom and defend the kingdom. And then you got to come out of the world and come into the kingdom with your heart, with your mind and with your life. Every answer to all of life problems are in the kingdom. They're in the rule and the law of God. And when you show up on the scene, you're there to bring the royalty of God into the situation. You're a king. Kings think different. Here's, here's how we're going to handle this. You're here to bring the mannerisms, the manner, the culture, the, 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 the excellence of God. You're, you're here to bring in the principles of the kingdom. Now, I'm going to say this last thing and I'm done for real. Then any lack in our lives in any area is a kingdom violation problem. Somewhere. Somehow, some way, whether knowingly or unknowingly, we have violated kingdom law, protocol, order, principle. It is that simple. We can get this pandemic off the earth in one day. If everybody will do what the Lord said do when these things break out. If the church of Jesus Christ would come together and make sure we come into agreement as the church, bind it, pray, rebuke it, speak his name, the power of God would begin to move this thing right off the planet. Can't do that, though. Church is so divided. The church is not focused on it. The church is, you know, caught up in the politics of it all. Old covenant, he said, if my people, new covenant, he says, if I can get my church together, I've given them the keys of the kingdom. Whatever they bind on earth will be bound in heaven. If I can get a unified church together. So church, let's keep praying against this virus. We're not going to be distracted. We're not going to get in strife. I told you, I told you just as sure. I told the members of this church, I don't know if I told everybody, I said, if we have a second wave of this pandemic, 
Some of it will be just because everybody's coming out in the open, you know, and people are opening up. But I said in the spiritual, if we have a second wave, it'll be because the church quit praying and got in the strife. I'm telling you, where there's strife, there's confusion and every evil thing. Satan takes advantage of it. The church quit praying. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody praying about it no more. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody speaking to it. Just letting it spike now. And then, you know, you got people running all out in the streets, you know, protesting and riding and looting and by the hundreds of thousands with all this. It's just it's, it's Satan's way. It's Satan's way to have his way. But there needs to be a church spiritual enough to say, I see that. I see what you're trying to do there, devil. And I'm not letting no spirit division come into my spirit or coming out of my mouth. I'm going to stand with my brothers and sisters of all races and whatever. And we're going to come together. We're going to bind this thing and shut it down from the pandemic to the spirit of strife and division and all of this foolishness in the earth. Oh, we can fix it. But it takes kingdom people who have their minds renewed enough to do things God's way. And I'm telling you, we're going to get righteousness. We're going to get justice. We're going to get equality. We're going to get healed. We're going to get delivered. We're going to get it all. But we're going to have to honor the rule of heaven. Now, so all of that information is down on the screen. If the word of God blessed you, then let me know. Like I said, I can't see all your comments down here. So I hope you've been blessed. Share this. We got to get this word to the world. We got to get them out of the wrong system. If I can just get you in the kingdom. And I know the light bulb came on to a lot of you today. I know the light bulb came on areas in your life where you hadn't shifted into the kingdom and kingdom system. So I just pray revelation up on you. I pray the blessing of God up on you. And we're going to keep preaching this gospel of the kingdom. Now I told you, and I'm just giving you an opportunity to give those of you that are members of Christ Nations Church. Then you know what to do if you're watching, you're not a member of Christ Nations Church and you are blessed by the word and you want to sow a seed. Then please honor God, obey him. That's his word that when you receive the word give, he knows what you can and can't give. So don't even worry about it. Just give what's in your heart. I don't care if it's two dollars or, or whether it's two hundred or two thousand. You give whatever the Lord shares with you. But if you get your kingdom, your finances in the kingdom, even in the midst of all of these things, you will lack no good thing. Have I got a witness out there? You know, I told you during this reset, I'm going to talk about two more minutes to go to 805 and then I'm going to let you go. I talked about in this reset, I wrote it down that there would be five things that I would be preaching probably until Jesus came back. And it would be these dominantly these five revelations, number one on the spirit realm. So any given time, when you hear from me, you're going to be hearing one of these five threads of messages for the most part on the spirit realm. Number two on the kingdom. You heard that tonight. Number three on identity. Number four on authority. I got a revelation on authority the other night that I'll be bringing to you once I unpack it. And then number five on the end of this age. So I've been preaching on the end of this age. Now tonight on the kingdom. Sunday, who knows what I'll be preaching. <laughs> but it's going to be somewhere around one of these five revelations because this is just where he has me at this moment. So listen, y'all be blessed. Um, and if you need anything, don't forget to contact Shar. If you're members of Christ Nation's church, praying for you, believing God for miracles, signs, and wonders to be done. Let's seek first the kingdom, y'all. And then let's disciple the nations on how to function in the system of heaven. And we will see everything we need on earth to be dealt with and done. Pray, keep cursing this virus. And we're going to see a breakthrough. I believe if we can get the church back together and start praying, we're going to see a breakthrough. Y'all be blessed. Share this. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. I can't say it enough. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Okay. Hey, see you Sunday morning. Be blessed.